Welcome back to For Real. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. This is um, something I used to do quite a bit when we first came here, come and look at different watts around the place and do a bit of a tour. It so happens that I was at this particular one exactly a year ago today, so I thought it would be a good idea to come back, see what's changed, talk about the new year, things like that. There's a lot more activity here than there was when I was here last. I remember I went in there and checked it out. It's kind of building under construction. Here's something else that's changed. Different bike today. Wow, so many children here. Anyway, let's go up these stairs and see how, how much progress has been made on the construction of this joint in a year. First impressions, not a lot has changed. There's tons of people downstairs and outside, but no one up here. Got some seated Buddhas happening. And last time, yeah, they had some of the paintings done. I'll have to look back at that video and see if there's been any progress, but yeah. They just managed to make them so luminous. Very cool. This is new, they're starting to put these cement tiles on the wall. Beautiful. Oh, some of these paintings are new. Hang on. Let me get over here and swivel up so you can see. Check this out. That one definitely wasn't there last time. Yeah, so it's the 2nd of January today. As of yesterday, things like um, gyms, cinemas, museums, all those kinds of things have been allowed to reopen for the first time in a long time. And the schools are due to open uh, for the new school year on the 11th of January. So providing there's no further cases, uh, a lot of things are going to go back to normal in the next couple of weeks, which is really good. Because um, it, the school year has just been so disrupted um, in 2020. It would be really good to get some stability. There's a nice view down there. Oh, it's very, very bright. You can see all the stupas. Here's a collection of carts. Huge wheels. They look like they're still being used. Nicely maintained. This is a pretty impressive stupa. Look at that sky, it's just beautiful at the moment. Here we got some more burial places. This is more like the Chinese tradition. Check it out, there's a lotus pond. over there. I wonder how rickety the bridge is. Well, if I do fall, it won't be to my death. Maybe just to tetanus. A pleasant place to sit though. Here we are. Yeah, you really can't beat the watts here as a place to just wander around, have some quiet time. It's 
it's nice to think about things. Pretty appropriate at the start of a new year to find some time to think about what we're going to try and do. Um, I guess with the channel, but also personally, in terms of um, you know staying on in Cambodia, being able to go home um, to visit, which we haven't been able to do. I don't know, so many things to think about. We're hoping, of course, like everyone, that um, once there's a vaccine available, things are going to ease up a little bit in terms of travel restrictions and we'll be able to get home and visit family. I want to have a look over here. It's funny, you can hear the normal sounds of Cambodian life going on in the background, but they're just they're just a bit removed. So there's um yeah, you know, lots of traffic noise that you can just pick up faintly in the distance. This is Wat Kong Mok, by the way. South of Siem Reap City on the way to uh Tonisap, but on the other side of the river. It's a lovely wood carving on that building. This is the back. Lovely and cool on this um balcony though. Disturbing pigeons. Oh, beautiful cool breeze at the moment. When we make these videos, people are always like, oh, you're so lucky to be there. I wish I could be there. And I tell you what, it's bloody great to be here. It's absolutely wonderful. You can have experiences like this. I suspect that even if tourism was normal and travel was normal, you'd still have a place like this to yourself. But I guess the important thing is to realize how fortunate we are to be here, how fortunate we are that things with the virus haven't impacted too much on us in Cambodia, or they, they have impacted on the people greatly, as you know. Um, yeah, but personally, we're very, very fortunate. We do understand that it must be incredibly frustrating for people that are stuck and would prefer to be, you know, somewhere in Southeast Asia. Let's go over here. Wow, these are fancy. Very nicely decorated. It's about to take out my bike. No. So just about to finish up here at Wat Kong Mach. From here I've got to go to the supermarket and pick up a few things. Um, I'm really just enjoying the weather and enjoying riding around, looking at what's happening. Someone's just started beating that gong over there. And the dogs are going nuts. <laughs> Look at them all over there. whether they hate that noise or <laughs> they associate it with getting food or what. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. I wanted to wish you all a happy new year and hopefully 2021 will be the year that you get to come and visit Cambodia because we can't wait to see you when you come over and host you for a beer and see them reap.
In the description of this video, you'll find a list of people that are making content in Siem Reap or in Cambodia. So check those out. We've also put a longer list of all the other YouTubers that we follow just on different topics in case you want to look at those too. And if you've got some suggestions for channels on YouTube that we might be interested in looking at, leave them below and we'll check them out. Thanks. Bye.